big game breakdown style. Let's talk about the Oregon Ducks traveling to Ann Arbor to take on the Michigan Wolverines. Right now, looking at the free Wager Talk live on screen. And what a resource. It's free. And you get odds from a whole bunch of different books. You can see how the lines are moving. And you can get an idea. Do I bet this now? Do I wait until closer to kickoff? So right now, Ducks 15, 45 and a half against the Wolverines. And my first question in this game, how does Michigan score? <laughs> you know, the first Wolverines team total that I saw was 14 and a half juice to the under. Oregon's allowed more than 14 only twice in eight games. Ohio State and Boise. Then again, those two teams both got in the 30s against this defense. And Oregon was at home in those games. And they haven't faced anybody tough on the road. At Purdue, at UCLA, at Oregon State. Can't ask for a weaker <laughs> uh, road slate than that uh, for a uh, Power Four conference team. None of those teams are good. And when we look at some of the point spreads, they were minus 18 and a half against Oregon State. And now they're minus 15 in Ann Arbor. So there's a fair bit of built-in respect for the Ducks in this point range. That being said... Oregon's really freaking good. You know, Dan Lanning's team's not kidding around. The number 12 offense in the country. They're averaging more than 300 yards per game through the air. They have a Heisman Trophy candidate, Dylan Gabriel, who would love to put on a show in this ballgame. You've got elite receivers. You know, what do we got? Tez Johnson, Everett Stewart. we got elite running backs and Jordan James and Noah Whittington. They're number seven in the nation in third down conversions, 50% third down conversions. They're top 50 in turnover margin. You know, they've only given the way a uh, ball away five times all year. This is a really good team. <laughs> you know, that's why they're laying two touchdowns. And Michigan's two and six ATS. They have no betting bandwagon. Then again, it was one and six before last week when 17 first downs, 265 total yards, and 22 minutes of possession was enough to get to 24 points against Sparty. I don't know if that will happen twice this year for Michigan. Their offense didn't really work that well. The successful thing the offense did was Alex Orgy taking direct snaps and running. It's a limited offense. They hung 30 versus Fresno on opening day and haven't reached 30 since. Now, they were home dogs against USC, and they're able to win that game without basically any passing at all, just running the football. They were home dogs against Texas. They lost by 19 because they couldn't run the football, non-competitive. You know, the defense was good enough to keep them from a ridiculously bad beatdown, but it wasn't like Michigan was ever in that ball game. What concerns me the most about Michigan in this ball game? Last week, they entered play with the number nine rushing defense in the country. And you know what happened last week? Michigan State just handed the ball off and ran it down their throats. And I know they didn't cover in the end. They only, only scored 17 points. They were stuffed at the goal line. There were other issues with the Spartans. But they ran the football effectively against that Michigan defense. And if Oregon's running the football effectively here against Michigan, the Wolverines are in trouble. Because <laughs> Michigan ain't trading points with anyone. And it's worth noting, Ralph Michaels gave me a little tidbit that makes sense if you like the Oregon side, and that's the way I'm looking here. Teams like Michigan, as a double-digit conference home dog, off a conference win, 48 and 85 against the spread, 34.6% long-term. So if I'm playing, I'm laying Oregon or pass for this better. Again, we appreciate the likes the follows, and the comments very much. Check out my page, wt.buzz backslash TC for all the packages this weekend.